All right, so I tried to come up with a funny pun for the salmon and creamy mustard sauce, but let's just say I'm not that sophisticated. <laughs> Hey everyone, Mark here, and today I'm gonna to show you a pretty quick and easy salmon recipe that all can be done in one pan, and it has a nice velvety mustard sauce that is so good, you can just uh, grab a glass of it and drink it on its own. Chin chin. Let's start by grabbing one small to medium shallot, and we're gonna finely chop or dice it up as small as you can, little itty bitty pieces. We wanna bring texture to the sauce, but we just don't want big pieces of shallot. We are going to do the same with a couple cloves of garlic, finely dice or chop it up as small as you can. Once again, we're bringing texture to the sauce, we just don't want big slices of garlic. And guess what? We're gonna do the same with chives. Finely slice up about three tablespoons worth. Grab your salmon, fresh if you can, and at room temperature. This is gonna help with even cooking. We're gonna pat dry with paper towel to remove some moisture, and we're gonna season with salt and freshly cracked pepper. Make sure you do this step right before cooking. That way the salmon's not left alone for too long and more moisture can build up. In a pan on high heat, add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Get that nice and hot, and then we're gonna add our salmon. The side that you are gonna serve face up is the side that you are gonna put down first in the pan. It's gonna help get a nice clean cook and look great for a presentation. Now, if your salmon does have skin on it, you're gonna put the skin side down first. That way, the skin will get nice and crispy. Now the question is, when do you flip your salmon? Try not to touch it, just leave it alone, and just look on the sides. Once you see that the salmon starts to get a little bit opaque, about halfway up, that's when you're gonna flip. Now let's flip the salmon. Look how gorgeous that looks. Now we're gonna add a knob of butter per piece of fish, and we're gonna baste away. You're gonna baste this fish in butter, until your desired doneness. Once you're happy, we're gonna remove the fish. You can put it on a plate and wrap it up to keep it warm. Now let's start the sauce. In that same pan, don't wipe it, don't clean it, leave everything in there. We're gonna add our shallots and we're gonna add our garlic and we're gonna season with salt and freshly cracked pepper. And we're gonna saute until it's nice and tender. And then add one cup of chicken stock and let it reduce a little bit. And then we're gonna add our cream and let that reduce by about half. You will have to stir every so often because it will foam up. Add one and a half tablespoons of Dijon mustard and continue to reduce until you're happy with the thickness of your sauce. Just before removing your sauce from the heat, add one tablespoon of chives and mix that in. That's the thickness I like for my sauce. I'm gonna give it a taste and adjust any seasonings. At this point, you can add the salmon back to your pan if you wanna have a little party and warm everybody up. This step is optional depending on how you want a plate and how you want everything to look for a presentation. All right, there we have it. Look at this beautiful dish. Holy shit. Whew. Mm. Wow. The fish is cooked perfectly. The sauce complements it so well and you get that little kick from the Dijon. <laughs> fuck, man, this is good. And come on, was it really that hard to make? Nah, so you gotta give this a go. And as always, the full recipes in the description below, please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.